You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. Look no further than your kitchen if you want to start losing weight. Nutritionist Adina Fratkin with GBMC joins us to tell us how the things in our kitchen can help. And is it if you just put down the junk food and pick up something healthy? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk about different tools in your kitchen. Some of these you might have, some of these you might not have. Okay. By having the right things in your kitchen, you can really set yourself up for success when you want to lose weight. And so we're not even talking about food products. We're talking about the actual equipment that you need Exactly. In the we're not talking about food okay. today. We're not talking about calories. We're going to talk about the equipment, the tools. All right, so what's the first one? So the first one, this is just your regular old grater, zester. Mm -hmm. This is great you can use this with cheese add your own cheese on yourself I think when you have to grate it yourself a lot of times you end up using less than if okay. you were just dumping out the grated tub of Parmesan cheese or whatever it right. is this can also be good for salads it's spring we want to lighten up our salads and mm -hmm. our flavor so you can um, grate some lemons or some oranges grapefruit and have that as some flavor on top of your salad maybe use a little less dressing at the same time very good point okay the next one Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is an herb mill. A lot of people are growing their own herbs now in their garden, and this is a great way to use it. You basically just pack the fresh herbs into the chamber, so you mm -hmm. could do parsley or basil, and then you just grind it the same way you would a and pepper get, mill. I and love you have that. no mess. I mean, people hate chopping up parsley yes. leaves and all that. So, oh, I love this one. Yes, okay. this is a great tool. This this is also a fun one. This is an yeah, oil mister. I'm trying mister. to figure out what it was. <laughs> I know. It looks a little confusing. Okay. So, this can be used, you fill this basically with oil, yep, okay. pop it off, and you basically just spray it so you can use it on top of a salad, you mm -hmm. can use it to coat a pan if you're coating with any sort of oil. One of my favorite things to do with this is to put some flavor infused olive oil in it, so you could do a garlic infused oil or a citrus infused oil, okay. and use that as dressing instead of a higher fat, higher calorie dressing. That's a great good idea. Good for portion control too. Yep. And that's a good, you're misting it, you're not pouring the whatever exactly. dressing on there, even exactly. if it is the oil, olive oil. Okay. Yeah. This, so this is something that people, it's so small, people forget mm -hmm. that they probably have this in their kitchen. It's just a steamer I basket. I use mine all the time, actually. Oh, okay, good. It's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But this is so affordable. You don't need a lot of money to eat healthfully. And you pop your veggies in. They steam. There's no mess. This is so easy. And especially when people are trying to lose weight, we want mm -hmm. to encourage them to increase some of their vegetable intake in it instead of other foods that they might be eating. And it's so easy. Okay, lastly, just really quickly, yep, we're making is, muffins. This, no, we're not making muffins. Oh. We're using muffin tins for portion control. This is okay. one of the best tools in your kitchen for portion control that a lot of people don't even think about. Anything that you were going to pop in the oven, you can portion it out into your muffin tins, and that way you have individual sized portions. This looks Excellent. like about a half cup to me, so great thing to do for portion control. Adina, great ideas. Thank you so much. Well, for more information on the kitchen tools that might help you lose weight, log on to our website, foxbaltimore.com slash morning.